Hello, friends, and welcome to a new Let's Play for an old game. A long time ago, there was an ice island far to the north. It was called Coolment Island, a peaceful island inhabited by the winter fairies. But one day... Oh no! An evil wizard named Druidal sent flame monsters to the island. If something isn't done, Coolment Island will melt away. No, oh, say it isn't so. In response to this crisis, the Queen of the Winter Fairies called upon a wizard. She chose a novice wizard named Dana. Oh, so adorable. Dana, I'll give you ice magic to extinguish the evil flames. You have been chosen for your wisdom and courage. We trust you, Dana. Yes, that's right. It's Fire and Ice. I thought I'd play an NES game this time when I enjoy. Grandma, can you tell me a story? Okay. Would you like to hear the story about Dana? Yes. Yes, I think we would like to hear that story. Where to begin? Well, I think the beginning is the best place to go. So this is a puzzle game. Very cute, adorable puzzle game. I think it kind of goes along with the Kirby game I played earlier. Nice that you get to choose the world. That's great for puzzle games. You can kind of skip ahead. Maybe the beginning is just... Too easy for you, or maybe you need to get back to gaming from previous file. But me, I'm looking for an easy, fun time. Another relaxing day to play games with my friends. And I think we'll extinguish these flames and push some ice. <laughs> what an adorable fall. You'll probably hear that word all over. I think this game's very adorable. Like I said, it kind of goes with Kirby. And, uh... I think everyone enjoyed the Kirby Let's Play. I know I did, for certainly. One of my favorite series. And this game, I think, is a little bit of a hidden gem. I don't hear too many people... Whoop! Oh, I'm in a bad spot. I'm getting squished. My legs are gone. Nothing but feet. Yeah, I don't hear too many people talk about this game, but I think it's great. I mean, just look at these graphics. Look at the, the fluid animation. Something I don't think you really see much. The pastel colors, the boppy music. I just enjoy all of it. And I really do have a fond spot for puzzle games. I mean, heck, I guess you could say the point-and-click games are puzzle games in their own regard. Uh-oh. Let's see how this is going to play out. Let the ice fall upon all the flames. So for those who don't know, this is actually... I believe, a sequel for Solomon's Key, which doesn't really play like this game. But it's okay for me because I prefer this one. <laughs> which is funny because I think Solomon's Key is the more well-known game. But for me, I'll always go Fire and Ice. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think the game's called Fire and Ice in its original Japanese release. I think we named it differently here in the States to kind of try to market it better, I suppose? We did the same thing with Tetris Attack. It wasn't really a Tetris game. Panel de Pan, it was known in Japan, but we changed it to Tetris Attack, try to get that Tetris money. That story at the beginning gave me some great Kid Icarus vibes. This goddess fairy bestowing an important mission adventure on a large-hearted young hoping to prove himself adventurer. Oh yeah, it's all there. What retro video game stories were made of. All right, we're getting a little tricky here. Let's see how we do this. I might have done this all wrong. I think I did. I think we'll have to try again. That's okay. We can try again. <laughs> all right, this time. It's funny to be playing a game that's so centered on ice in August. Very hot time of the year, especially where I live, where it's 
usually in the 90s. I should be playing this game around Christmas time in the winter season. But here I am in August. You know what? Never mind. It makes perfect sense. It's too hot. It's too hot out there. And I need to cool down. And Dana is going to help me cool down. Heck, he'll help us all cool down. So grab your blankets when you're watching this video, friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay, I got it now. I got it. Had to do a careful, uh, <laughs> little bit of thinking there. But I eventually got it. <laughs> so I think you'll know that I probably won't play too far in this game. You know, it can be somewhat challenging to play games and talk to your friends at the same time. Well, that really didn't serve any purpose right there, did it? No worries, I can do it again. So we'll just play maybe the first two or three worlds and see how it goes. Let's see, let's get rid of that. I think we can get rid of all that all at once. And then we can leave ourselves one little ice cube and finish this stage. Okay, we're back on it. We're back on the roll. You know, now that I was talking about Tetris Attack, now I'm just thinking about it. That is a great game. But right now we're playing Fire and Ice and I want to spread how much this game can be much of a, much of a joy. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we have to detach it from the walls. This won't get rid of all the fire, but it got rid of, well, I thought it would do more than that. Let's see what else we can do. I think we can do that again. Give ourselves more eyes to work with. Oh, yeah. That way we can get rid of both the bookends here. And there we go. Now moving on to World 1 Stage 10. The castle. The boss of this world. What danger awaits us? I mean, a, a clown-faced, giant mouth castle is already scary enough, I have to admit. Ah-ha-ha! Ha. Well, he's a jolly fellow. Can you get out of my labyrinth? Well, you know what? He asked politely, and I was considering it, but then he just threw us down into his dungeon. <sighs> now we must fight the flames. Only two flames, though. Shouldn't be too bad. Got new music. You know, you know you're in for a, a time when you got that boss music. Easy peasy lemon squeezy little jolly little jump of joy. Ooh, grr, he's angry now. Don't dare to think you have beaten me. Oh, maybe we'll see him again. Aha! A whole new celebration. Ice Rock Island clear. We did it, friends. What next? Well, we continue the story. Grandma, you're not done telling the story yet. We're not going to let you get off that easily. World 2. <laughs> Look at these fires. Oh my gosh. They're even cuter than before. All right. I say we start from the top and work our way down. I think that's the best way to go here. Puzzle games are a bit of a curiosity to me. Like I said earlier, they are something I very much enjoy. But they can be stressful in their own regard, for sure. Nope, I did not want to do that. <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. Oh, uh, yes, I'll be okay. See, I thought I was in trouble there. I was thinking to myself, Oh, no. Is the second world not going to be as easy as I had hoped to enjoy myself and have a, have a nice little time? But no, we did it. Look at how adorable and inviting that map is. You know, you can get really far when you just 
slap a couple of eyeballs on something, give it a little bit of a mouth, especially a, a smile. It just, it works wonders. It just makes everything much more happier. That happens to me sometimes. I'll, I'll be looking at a, maybe a device or a wall or something and just judging from things on it, I can see a face. You know how people will see a, a face and the electrical outlet? You know, I wonder, I wonder if you do that too. Is that, is that only a certain type of people or, or does everybody see these faces? Do you see faces as well, friends? Or am I just loco in la cabeza? I'm sorry, my cute little fire friends. You're a danger to all my, whoop, I can't do anything with this. Now I just pace back and forth, contemplating my situation. Oh, what am I to do? Well, I suppose I can try again. We can do more. We can do better. Even when we fail, we can always try again. It's never truly the end. Alright, maybe some careful plan in this time. I say we go ahead and take care of this fire on the left there. Maybe add another fire there. And we'll get rid of this one magical block and see the true magic happen. Alright, almost, almost. But good enough. There we are. Maybe that's the beauty of puzzle games. Maybe you can experience that. Sometimes life is just going to get a little harder. And even when you fail, you can always try again. Or maybe, just maybe, I'm reading too much into video games. I'm not sure, friends. You'll have to tell me. <laughs> or maybe at the end of the day, it's just how you feel. It's what gets you through life with the most enjoyment you can possibly have. See, I thought that'd be a little trickier, but it wasn't so tricky. In the end, we did it, and that's what matters most. All right, we'll have to get rid of that so we can push it later. Come on, Dana. We're going on an adventure, all of us together. Because these little fireball friends, well, I'm just sorry, they don't stand a chance. Sometimes you have to go the long way around. But in the end, you get the job done. I try to check in with my friends every week. And I like to make sure that everyone's doing well. So please leave in the comments how you've been doing lately. I hope things are going well, but I completely understand if they haven't. And I hope things would improve for you if that's the case. Me? I'm still going through my little life trials, I guess you could call them. But you know what? I'm feeling better emotionally. I'm feeling like I'm in a better place. And I think that can mean all the difference. You know what I mean? I know I'm not out there alone. I can't be. I can't be the truth. Alright. Oh, I like a little dance there. You see what I mean by that smooth animation? Oh, Dana. So adorbs. Okay, let's see. I don't know why, but this one looks a little bit more complicated to me. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm overthinking it. See, now I'm starting to get it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. See what happens. Went over here. And now, things are working out. Create a new block to push. And be my own Smokey the Bear. Put out my forest fires. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Might have to double think this one. Mm-hmm. Did that help at all? I have no idea. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah? No? 
Hmm. Wait, this might work out actually. Oh my gosh, it did. See, I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> I was ready to give up. I was like, for sure. For sure, I'm going to have to restart this stage. It's just another prime example of how I can love a game and not be <laughs> the best at it in any means whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Again, I'm already getting tricky, tricky. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. Uh, do I have this? Do I? Oh, I have it. I have it. I know what to do. Here we are. Friends, I bet you noticed that even before I did. It's because you're so smart. You're so talented. Me? Just trust me. I'm getting there. This boss, though, will he give me trouble? I dare him to take me on. I dare him. Create my magical middle block, put out my fire, and keep moving on. Alright, now I think I definitely need to restart. <laughs> we will try again. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Go with the same method that worked before. And now, we know we have to create a little bit more ice here. So how... Well, let's just say, let's create another middle one. I'm not planning this out too far ahead. As you can tell, I'm probably not a good chess player. Can't think five moves ahead. But you know, I can memorize what I did that worked well. And I can play around to see what works well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, no. We're gonna need a little, uh, safety there. Push that, I think. I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. But we can push this to the right. We're done there. Yeah, I... May have, uh, created an extra block that I didn't mean to. <laughs> So we'll do it again, but this time, I know I can do it. I know the answer. We've already proven it to ourselves. Even if we didn't actually finish the puzzle, we've proven that we can do it. And now I'm speed running. You know it, you're seeing it, you're feeling it. It's all here. Speed run time. Had to remember what I was doing. <laughs> Still have to remember what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we are. We got it. We got it, friends. Ah. Uh, see, now I don't know if you doubted me. It's all right if you did. Now, another boss. Let's see, is it the same guy? And what? Oh, look at this little salamander guy. Try out my maze. All right, see, he's more inviting. So uh, I'm a fan. I mean, I also like salamanders. Oh, okay. All right, we got moving flames. Moving flames. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do another mill tactic. Drop it right on him. Didn't work out. That's fine. That's fine. Drop it on him. Didn't work out. It's okay. It is, it is, all right. Um, we will do, oh, uh, I'm gonna be in trouble, but we're gonna try it. Okay. I don't think I'm in trouble just yet. The fire may be moving, it may be spreading, but that's all right. Hmm. Connect those and get rid of this top one. We don't need that anymore. That's just getting annoying. And this time, more than one block, I say. There we go. Hmm, and to get to this bottom one here, 
Maybe I can just drop this one right here. Huzzah! One more huzzah! Huzzah's all around! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm freezing! World 2, Cobalt, Mine, Clear. You did it, Dana! I know you didn't do anything dastardly there, just set that salamander back home. Back to his fire world, I assume. He's happy there. He's back there swimming in the lava as if it were a cool pool. And now we got a uh, little mischievous flames here, huh? Sticking their tongue out at me. Will World 3 be too much for me? It's already shaping up that way, because I don't know how to get up this block. Let's try again, though. We will try again. Let's see. I'll push that. No? That's not how we do it? We'll try again. We will try again. Let's see. How about we work our way from the top to the bottom again? I think that's the way to do it. And it is! Success! One more time for World 3-1. All right. Expose the way to the flame and reveal that I once again <laughs> I reminded myself I have to plan a way for me to reach these higher platforms So I got it this time Just build myself a bridge I think we can do this a couple of times. Yeah, just get rid of the middle there. Two ice cubes at once. It's a special. Our number two combo. And on our way to 3-1. I am entombed in the ice. I must escape. It looks like we can climb to the left. So let's see where this path takes us. Again, don't really have a plan. Hmm, I feel this will be a bit tricky, but again, no plan. Just see what happens. Absolutely trapped myself. Makes sense to me. <laughs> We actually can get that cube. So to me, I was just focusing on the left path. Well, this time, why don't we try climbing on the right? Here we go. Everything's working out so far, and yeah. This time we actually have room. Do our secret technique, which I didn't completely plan for. <laughs> now, time for the secret technique. There we go. The stage looks like it has candy stripes. It's making me hungry. Hmm. No, we don't. Hmm. Do we? Let's see, we need our blocks to move around. So when they're attached to walls, it's a little bit of a problem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. I think we can climb the right side now. Have to create a bridge to get to the middle boy. He doesn't want to be left alone. He wants some company. He can be friends with the ice. And then, all we have to do is drop one block. There we are. 
We're moving on up. And that's gonna get me nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. All right. Ice for us to climb. One more bridge. Um. Forgot that moved. <laughs> Absolutely forgot that moved. Hmm. 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 Now I'll just put myself down here so it shows how I'm feeling right now. Trapped. But by pumping my fists, I am determined. We, we, we shall try again. Hmm. All right, so put the block there so it won't be able to move when I try to push it. Ha ha! See, now I got that forward thinking. Give myself a way to climb. I am Dana, the smartest and goodest of boys. Oh, Dana. He's so jolly, he's so green. Makes me think of... Link from Zelda, or maybe even... Lord of the Rings, for some reason, he definitely has this kind of, like, childlike fantasy aura about him. Let's see... Well, that's just not gonna help me at all. Hmm... All right, we'll try again. Okay, so we know two things now. We have to connect these, but we have to be able to put this here, but we can't drop now. So we know this is important. But if we leave one here, that should prevent that ice block from moving. So I think we got it now. I don't mean to speak too early, but, uh, maybe I'm just a genius. No, I kid. I kid, I kid. At least I kid until I figure out if I actually am a genius or not. <laughs> Let us see! Okay. So now we can... Yes. Two cubes will leave us plenty of room. Aha, uh -huh. build a bridge. Secret technique, and shaboom! All right, well, I gotta say, the game is uh, already stepping up its level in difficulty. I believe <laughs> World 3 Level 5 is where it starts to get a little difficult, where I have to start using my noggin, and it's a little hard to play the game and do that at the same time. And like I said, I'd like to just keep these things kind of chill, check in with you guys, have fun with you, and just tell you all that you're wonderful, I hope you're accomplishing great things, and I'm always happy to have you around and talking to me in the comments. So I'll see you all in the next video, friends. Take care.